everyone, thanks for tuning in. Sorry for the no in-person intro to this video. We just sort of had to get going really. It was uh, quite the journey to get here. Um, so I hope you enjoy. This is probably one of the worst roofs I have ever cleaned. Um, it was a full carpet of moss. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, we filled up like a shovel on the end of a digger about three or four times. Crazy, crazy job. Stay tuned for the end as well because there may be a sneak peek at the next worst job, which is even worse than this one, which is a job just down the road. So hope you enjoy, guys. Thanks for watching.
good morning everybody uh, sorry i didn't do much uh, intro or filming yesterday um we just sort of had to get going it was day one we had a long journey to get there so yeah i hope you enjoyed the time that's footage of yesterday uh day two on the first property um i probably wouldn't have said but i've got two properties to do this one one just down the road as well um as you saw they were very very bad um but it is nice working in a lovely spot like this check it out i don't know if i showed you really up the back but loads of hills everywhere lovely spot in uh in wales somewhere to work all right i'll show you what we did yesterday then so there's the front of the house that's all looking good um we did just do sort of a because of the amount of moss on it it's it's hard to scrape you know as detailed as a roof with not as much moss on it sorry it's probably very windy guys so i really do apologize um so there's still a little bit of dirt that's sort of left on the surface so it's basically muddy it was, we rained quite heavy last night as well so before we're done today um, we're just going to sweep as much of that down and then we'll be coming back tomorrow um, once we're half done with the other property to come and buy a side this once everything's dried out um, let me show you the back so this is what we've got left to do today so yeah look i mean look at all of that that is no joke is it so um i mean it's uh, you probably saw from yesterday it's so thick when it comes down it just it bunches up into massive bundles but it's probably very, very windy, so I'll uh, I'll stop talking and uh, and yeah, we'll get started. Nice one.
All right then folks, so job one is complete, um, but I think there might be a change of plan. Now, originally I came uh, all the way to Wales, three nights stay to do two jobs. Um, did a kind of a, a nice deal for them, but I only saw pictures of the properties. First one was okay, it took us a bit longer than expected, um, but it was okay. Now we've just, just down the road got to the second property and I mean, we're halfway through day two now, so we've got a day and a half here left before I've got other commitments I need to get to. Um, and then this is the job. Now the front, it's not too bad, it's massive, but uh, loads of moss on it, but not too bad. You know what I mean? If it was the same on the back, I'd be thinking, yeah, this is possible in a day and a half um, with the buyer side just about perhaps um but yeah when i come around the back i realize i may have misquoted this one um unfortunately uh you guys aren't going to believe this i've honestly never seen anything like it um right there's a lovely stream I'm, i might put the clips in now i'll show you before i turn around to the roof lovely stream that runs through there great spot to live and there's actually a waterfall just down there which I guess he owns, a big pond, and behind it there's a little waterfall, which is amazing. Now, let me show you this job. That's just some of it. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It gets worse. It gets worse, guys. Holy moly. No, it just gets worse. The further you look at this, I'm just gonna take a picture to show me. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before in my life. So, for the price that it was a deal, um, that I quoted both of these at. If both of them had it done, obviously it would have been worth the trip, but man, this is a bit too much for me um, in this time frame anyway. Uh, I'd love to do it. I'm sure you guys would love to see me clean it as well. Um, but for the price that I've arranged, there's no chance. Um, so I'm, what I'm probably going to have to do is I'm going to have to re-quote this one. Um, take a hit on the other one, obviously, because I did them a deal. I don't want to put the other one's price up just because I can't do this one. So I'm going to have to take a hit on that one. Um, which means I won't really have made any money from coming here, but hotels for three days and uh, all the travel and things like that and uh, wages to be paid, but yeah, I think it's better than making like an even bigger loss by having to book another few days here to get this one done, so I think I'm gonna, gonna call it or requote it. If they accept it, then I'll come back in a, in a week or so. And uh, <laughs> So yeah, look at that, oh my days. So yeah, if you guys want to see me clean this, leave a like, leave a comment saying, please clean it soon. And I'll, uh, I'll do my best <laughs> to come back and do it. I mean, I can do it. It's not like I can't do the job. Um, I probably would definitely get the roof ladders on there to be honest and just scrape sideways, but um, it's just the time, the time frame will, will be affecting it. So but yeah, I mean, you can see, just look at it better. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone, take care. Right then folks, back home now, um, hope everyone's enjoying the video so far. Um, I just thought I'd give a quick shout out to this, um, a lot of people always ask me what equipment we use for my roof cleaning, and you may have noticed in this video I've been using something new, um, this is unreleased at the moment, it's coming out at the end of the month from Gutter Vacuum Systems, and it's their new and their first ever um, pole, right, sorry, battery died again, um, so yeah, I'm one of, the, one of two people actually, shout out to Lee from Multiple Window Cleaners. To uh, be test running this so i just thought to give my thoughts really quickly um i really enjoyed it now i might be slightly biased because i've been using a metal like aluminium pole um for all my roof scraping work for the past i don't know couple of years um so to go to a light carbon one um yeah it's, it's a world of difference um but this is 30 feet it's super rigid so when it's extended all the way it barely flexes and for me that's the most important thing if you've got like a wobbly pole it's no fun so I just thought to say it's a thumbs up for me, 10 out of 10. It's being released at the end of the month, I think, um, or in like a week or something, I don't know. Um, but if you're looking for a new roof scraping pole, highly recommend it, very good stuff. Matches the roof scraper they've got as well um, with the color coding. There's a new wire brush as well, I thought they were pretty spot on. 
Um, so yeah, nice one.